But scholars also talk about false or non-truthful visions. An example of a false vision would be a person who gets drunk and sees a pink elephant. They really do see the pink elephant, but it's an hallucination, purely a projection of the person's own mind, and it's not really there. This is what scholars usually mean when they admit the disciples saw something, but then they imply it was some kind of a vision, not a literal physical appearance of Jesus. So the question is, did the disciples know the difference between a real physical appearance of Jesus versus a vision of Jesus in their mind? Now, it's interesting that the New Testament draws a clear distinction between appearances of Christ and visions of Christ. The appearances of the risen Christ were to a limited circle and soon ceased. But visions of the exalted Christ went on in the New Testament church.